And endorphins, of course, will relax a horse. So as he's starting to get relaxed and into things, he's seeking more of what he just got. So he's trying to get more endorphins by walking and targeting me shoulder to shoulder, because that's what he's trained to do. And he knows eventually I'm going to click. As soon as I click, all the feel-good hormones come out of him. When he turns his nose away, he's going to get a feel-good hormone. And that helps to keep them calmer. And he sticks right with me. Because those chemical reactions aren't something that he has control over. It just happens. He knows he's getting some food. So the relaxing hormones come in, don't they? Good boy. He's still a little jumpy, but this is how I warm up my horses. Even though he's anxious, can we try it a little bit? Good boy. He is still willing to do anything I want him to do. I don't need to have him on a lead rope. Good boy. Now you can see he's starting to relax. You want to come the other way? He's just walking along calmly with me. He's <coughs> on the wrong side. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Nice quiet jog, and whoa, good boy. And you can see we have the draw because what he wants is right here. It makes him physically feel better to do all this. Even though he's bouncing around a little bit, that's fine. Now he's relaxed. Now he's, oh, I've got my head nice and low. Oh, we're coming over here. Now you're going over there. Okay. Can you see how low his head is? And he's just relaxed. will do for a horse. It keeps them relaxed. It keeps him seeking out my attention. And it's not something he has any control over. The food has released a chemical that makes him feel better about things, doesn't it? Do you want to try this one? He says, I don't want to try that one. Okay, that's all right. So that's all well and good. You can see when I asked him to trot, all I had to do was click at him a little bit. We got a nice jog, which is what we were looking for. Finn also knows all the pressure cues. And when a horse is trained with aversive pressure, what it does is it puts them into a fight or flight state so I'm not going to feed him right now because we're going to pretend we're doing uh, our negative. See how he's seeking out, though? He's seeking out the R+. Plus. He's standing next to me. He's got his nose away. He's being quiet. So he's seeking out doing the right thing. But if I automatically switch, or if I switch to an R negative, and I start pushing him around, what it does is it triggers fight or flight. That's the part of the brain that the horse thinks when we start using R minus. I'm, I'm covering my flag because I, I think we'll get see a pretty big change in him when I start flapping it around. Uh, so when you start using aversive pressure, things that they, they really want to get away from, you can see he's trying to come to me. If you keep pushing them away, it triggers fight or flight. That re releases a different hormone, which is the cortisol hormone. It's the stress hormone. So they are, no matter if you use light pressure or force or anything like that, any type of time you tell your horse to move away from you, to move away from a whip, to move away from a tool, even if it's light pressure, it triggers the stress hormone. And that's why it works. 
So if I suddenly pick up my flag and start doing that, he's like, oh, that means back up. But you can see a different horse. His whole head came up. So if I ask him to run, I knew you'd be such a good boy for me. Yes, now he's overexcited. So if I had to train this horse, well, I have trained this horse. Whoa. That's the type of stop I would get. And that head bobbing is thin for I am uncomfortable. We learned that a long time ago. You can see him back away from me when I go to raise my hand. He is uncomfortable. And he is worried that if he makes a mistake, I'm going to get after him with this flag. And that's a flag. I haven't touched him with it. And he is desensitized to it. Whoa. So if I were to hold that flag up, he's not scared of the flag. He's scared of me. And he's scared of the pressure that I just put on him. And now I feel bad, so I have to go get the treats. <laughs>